kipindi ni Soma Leheri hapa hapa katika station no ya NBC ITV mimi ni Maureen shukran tena sana kwa kuendelea kuwa pamoja nasi nawe pale nyumbani pia shukran kwa kuendelea kusema nami katika Facebook katika SMS katika WhatsApp napokea maoni yenu majibu yenu ya msamiati na vile vile pia napokea maswali kwa mgeni wetu wa leo anafahamika kama Ann B mtakazaji wa kipindi kinachofahamika kama Golden Minute kinakujia kila siku ya Jumamosi mwendo wa saa 3 unusu siku marudio ikiwa ni kila siku ya Jumanne yani Tuesday mwendo wa saa kumi na mbili uh, jioni na katika kipindi hicho basi kina mama wanaelimishwa zaidi kuhusiana na kutunza ujauzito ili kuweza kupata mtoto mwenye afya na we mama pia unakuwa uh, na afya yako nzuri tumekuwa tukipokea ma- maswali yenu katika SMS katika Facebook na katika WhatsApp atakuwa anaendelea kutujibu wakati yu, ikiwa tunakamilisha kamilisha tu haya mahojiano mm-hmm. Anbi kipindi Golden Minute. Yes. Uh, umetueleza vile mnavyosafiri maeneo mengi tu katika nchi yetu ya Kenya mnapata nafasi ya kuzungumza na vikundi vya kina mama kuelimisha zaidi kuhusiana na kutunza ujauzito na kupata watoto wenye afya. Uh, mpangilio zaidi wa kipindi hicho pengine ukitueleza tu kufupi. Uh-huh. Asante sana Maureen. Uh, katika kipindi chetu mimi ndio host mm. na content manager. Uh-huh. Lakini sasa katika yale mafunzo I am working with a team of qualified doctors. Mm-hmm. Every person who comes there to discuss a topic is qualified. Mm-hmm. Like for those who watched last last Saturday's show, mm. I was talking tulikuwa tunaongea juu ya kujifungua kupitia upasu, kupasuliwa mm. ama kujifungua normally mm. and we, we, we did that discussion with a gynecologist from mm. Kijabe Hospital mm. Kijabe Mission Hospital. Na so wakati tuna discuss a condition mm kusiwe na mtu ataogopa mm. nikina nani hawa wana discuss this big topic mm. that person i am hosting on that day mm. is a qualified, qualified. person mm. and i thank god and i thank if the, the the team that has come to support me mm. na uh, zaidi ya ku discuss conditions and complications mm. kuna wakati mwingine huwa tunafanya hata exercises mm. kama kuna kuna kipindi tutaleta hivi karibuni mm. wakati tumetoka nje tume, tumeita wamama waja wazito mm. kwa sababu kuna wengine wanaamini akishika mimba ni kulala kwa kitu eh, kuitisha kula kulala eh. lakini kuna exercises unaf, unafaa kufanya mm. so tumetoka nje tumeenda na wao tumefanya exercises hata tumeswim mm. mm. tena kuna portion nyingine tuna interview wamama mm. tuna interview familias mm. ulipitia aje mm. wakati mama alishika mimba katika familia mm. mliadhirika ama ilikuwa baraka kwenu mm. pengine kulikuwa na shida hii ama hii mm. na t- katika ile kuchagua ni nani tuta interview tunaangalia kwanza what is unique or, or rather what was unique in mm. that pregnancy mm. for example uh, we have a show mm. uh, i guess it's the show we will be airing next on saturday mm. i'm interviewing uh, Dr. Esther Dindi. Mm. She she's also called Dr. Fitness. Mm. When she conceived her first pregnancy was twins. Mm. You know conceiving the first pregnancy being twins mm. it's unique. Mm. And then she's a doctor. Mm. She knows the consequences of a first pregnancy mm. and so how did she carry it all through? Mm. Was she fearing mm. because you know pregnancy doesn't res- respect no you're a doctor yeah. and you know when we bring in her mm. and she gives us her story mm. i believe this that woman outside there she's carrying twins mm. and she's feeling like you know some some of these problems get exaggerated mm. during the p- twin pregnancy but now she watches this lady she carried her pregnancy to term mm. so she gets encouraged mm. when i i bring in a couple mm. who lost a baby mm and then you they are watching us mm. and you've lost a baby i believe this away to not lift mm. it's they still hope mm. so our show is basically to reach that person mm. you see you can it, you can still get there mm. you lost the first baby no she lost her first baby she got her second baby mm. so other than uh, uh, just talking about conditions and complications mm. as we fight against maternal mortality fetal mortality and mm. uh, neonatal mortality mm. we also want to bring in people who can give us their stories mm. my pregnancy was very unique because this happened mm. you know mm. because i believe in that uniqueness mm. kuna mwingine pale nje 
mm. alipitia hayo ama anayapitia e, saa hii kwa hivyo atajifunza kupitia huyu mm. ambaye amepitia pale mm. you know kuna, o, tunaambia ngo experience is the best teacher e. but me usually say i don't have to go through this if you went through it i can learn I, from your yeah, story i can learn e. from your story e. so we are bringing in that that part mm. and uh, when that part comes we call it that day experience mm. because that day when i got pregnant mm. you know how did i react mm. that day when labor came mm. how did i behave mm. that day when i went into labor mm. how did i behave mm. so kuna watu wako na story mm. hawana story hapa kwa kubeba mimba yeah. <laughs> lakini pale kwa kujifungua kuna story yeah. so tunawatafuta tunawaleta yeah. na tunaongea yeah. na ninajua kupitia haya inatusaidia sana yeah. kupigana katika the the motive we have mm. the motive the behind our show. Mm. Yeah. Kwa hivyo ni kipindi kizuri. Kinaelimisha, najua, Kabisa. najua kina mama ambao watakuwa wanajumuika, mm. wazazi ambao watakuwa wanajumuika mm. kila siku na nyinyi mm -hmm. kila siku jumamosi watakuwa mm -hmm. naelimika na kufaidika na kipindi mm -hmm. hicho. Eh. Tena, wacha nisemea si kipindi chu, tu cha wale wanja wazito. Mm. Kwa sababu wewe saa hizi si mjamzito, mm. lakini si utanatarajia. Ni, ma, ni masomo ambayo unajifunza unajiwekea. Kuna yule mama mm. hata amepitisha miaka ya kujifungua mm. ya kuzaa mm. ya kushika mimba mm. lakini ako na mtoto wake mm. kuna mtoto wa mtoto wake kuna yule nisha. jirani alishamalizana nayo mambo hata watoto wake walimalizana na yake mm. lakini si ako na jirani huyu mm. jirani ndiye atamsha usiku eh tusiwe tusiwe wale mm. wa, wa kusema oh mtoto anafanya hivi mfanyie hivi hujui ulifunza ulijifunza wapi mm -hmm. eh tena mababa mm. Muna, hata wao wako na ile part in fact kuna part tume interview i have done an interview with a man only mm, mm. he's a pastor eh. a good friend of mine pastor mark mm. i've interviewed him mm. she ha he has three babies mm. so how did you behave during those three pregnancies eh. and during their delivery because eh. i want that other man who is fearing to accompany his wife to hospital to deliver mm. we can learn from this man eh. mm. have you also interviewed a couple pastors and also they also they are pastors and bankers at the mm. same time And no the years is a, a sweet story. Mm. And they've been there for one another. So there's that man who feels okay, she's pregnant. Now it's time to disappear. Eh. Please learn from this. Eh. Yeah, so eh. it's a Aki, good show. Kiamka sana nane usiku aseme anataka yogurt na kuna mm -hmm. uje vile utafanya. Ndio hiyo. Mm. It's a good show. Nobody should miss it. Nobody should Nobody miss. Should miss Usipito na hicho mm. kipindi. Kila mm. siku ya Jumamosi, mm -hmm. mwendo wa saa 3 unusu usiku kinafahamika kama Golden Minute. Tumaliza na maswali ya mwisho mwisho tukimalizia. Tuendelee. Ha. Mm -hmm. e, katika WhatsApp sasa, e, manake wengi walikuwa wameandika, anasema vipi huyu? Is it possible for somebody who for a pregnant person to produce uh, white discharge because that's what I'm going through right now? Uh, kuna ile normal discharge mm. ambao wanawake hupata. Hata mm. kama haja, ha, haja shika mimba. Mm. Na, lakini what happens wakati ameshika mimba it, it gets it increases. Mm. We call it urea. Mm. Huwa inaongezeka. Mm. So kama kuna ile tuliongea juu yake candida. Eh. Candida ndio juu uko na candida kuna kujikuna. Mm. Lakini kama hii ingine imeongezeka tu hainuki. Mm na huashwi na huashwi basi ni ile ya kawaida ni normal mm. haya mwingine anasema good morning morina na ann shabiki mgeni kaka yole sasa katika kujifungua still bad kuna mambo mingi mingi morina hata tukiongea hatuwezi tukamaliza mm. kuna kuwa ni mtoto mwenyewe alikuwa na shida kuna kuwa ni shida ilikuwa katika pale kwa placenta mm. inawezekana ni mama alipata shida kama hata mm. malaria mm. malaria can cause oh, really? abortion eh. yes it can pengine alikuwa na a bacterial infection mm. or a viral infection mm. pengine ni katika ile kitovu mm. so katika kule kusema alipata still bad mm. we cannot say exactly. it is this mm. unless now we sit down and we get her journey from conception mm. how was labor mm. how was pregnancy mm. up to the time she delivered mm. but i cannot say it was this mm. because i don't know her and i don't know her story mm. yeah. Jackie anasema nina 40 years naweza kupata ujauzito 40 years mm. uh, it depends ujauzito ukuja kwa sababu haujifikisha menopause mm. ako na dalili za menopause na menopause ikiingia mm. kitu cha kwanza upotea ni periods. Mm. So as long as you still getting your monthly periods, then you can still conceive. You can still conceive. Mori, nauliza muguzi, kuna njia naweza kutumia nipate a baby boy? Hmm. Sasa kuna wale wataalamu 
kuwa wanafundisha mm. na una, kuna vile wengine wanafundisha vile hata unaweza jipima temperatures eh. vile unaweza pima hata ile hiyo discharge tulikuwa tunasema eh. na kuna wale wanajua mm. lakini hiyo siwezi nikamwambia kwa simu ama kwa kwa yeah. eh. yeah. mm. how does it uh, how long does it take cs to heal completely magi wa mombasa uh, for, for it to heal completely mm. it also depends with why was the cs done mm. kuna zingine zinafanywa kwa sababu kati, wengine zinafanywa because it was an emergency mm. katika ule wakati wa kujifungua pengine kulikuwa na ruptured uterus mm. so that is a wound that we can give even a one year to heal mm. kuna ingine ilikuwa pengine shida ilikuwa mtoto hakukuwa na shida kwa le, baby uterus mm. na alipasuliwa kwa sababu shida ni mtoto mm. pengine alikuwa amechoka kama vile tulikuwa tumesema hapo mwanzoni mm. so within six months mm. that wound is can, mm. it's six months six months yeah. can be healed na yeah. mtoto anafaa kuanza ku kick na miezi mingapi aha hapo nayo i think majibu yetu yote inakuanga na ina depend yeah. <laughs> it depends kama ni mtoto wa kwanza mm. huwa tunasema within the 16 not really it can be up to 18 weeks mm. but yeah up to 18 weeks mm. but kama ni mtoto wa pili mm. six, six from 16 weeks mm. that is 16 weeks, 4 weeks in a month, mm. makes a month so around 4 months. Mm. The a second born, third born can kick. Why? Because mm. the muscles are a bit relaxed and the mother knows this. Mm. The, the, some of these things is be, the condition between the brain and mm. that body. Mm. You see, for the first time mother may not the baby may even kick but no, you not notice. know. Mm. But for the second uh, time uh, mm. this that awareness now. Mm. So 16 weeks the baby should kick. Uh -huh. mm. James and Asma listening from Kakamega the show is so much educative keep up. What are the effects of not taking those medicines given during early times of pregnancy? I said one major thing mm. abnormalities. Mm. These abnormalities mostly occur on the backbone. Mm. Mm. And also they will help the mother build up her blood. You have your own you've raised the level of your blood mm. such that when you go into the to the delivery room mm. wakati wa kujifungua mm. usipata ile shida usimwage damu mm. alafu ukaja kujipata kwa shida mingi mm. when we talk about postpartum hemorrhage mm. kuna ile kiwango huwa tunasema mm. when you lose this amount of meals mm. that is postpartum hemorrhage mm. lakini kuna wengine kama ulikuwa na anemia hata mm. ukilose 100 meals. Mm. Yes, itakuathiri. Itakuathiri. Mm. Yeah, kwa sababu kiwango chako cha damu kilikuwa chini sana. Mm. So, it's very important you build up your blood and at the same time those drugs are very important mm. to fight those abnormalities. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Esther nasema nilizea poa watoto watatu lakini wanne nikapasuliwa wakafunga sana kitovu inauma hata leo. Uh, sijui kwa sababu gani ali, alipasuliwa mtoto wa nne, pengine mm. kulikuwa na pale complications. Mm. Lakini Aki, kama anasikia maumivu mm. wacha sikae kwa nyumba mm. wacha ende hospitali mm. Mm. kuna mambo zingine zinatendeka katika wakati wa kupasuliwa mm. si ni vizuri tu arudi akaangaliwe mm. kama itabidi afanyiwe scan mm. si ni vizuri eh, mm. kuliko kukaa na kuumwa na kuumwa kwa nyumba bwana yesu asifiwe morin selimia daktari i love the program we're waiting for the show eagerly on saturday mm. i have four wonderful kids all have different stories second born i was transfused it is a blessing and a joy to be a mother mama john gatuya akiwa Muranga County. Na bila shaka maswali ni mengi tu sana ambayo tumepokea asubuhi hii leo. Hatuwezi kuyajibu yote mm, lakini vile tutakavyofanya yale ambayo mmewasilisha katika SMS, mmewasilisha katika Facebook, katika WhatsApp, yote nitawasilisha kwa muuguzi. Ndio siku ya Jumamosi au katika kipindi chake hicho cha Golden Minute ataweza kuyazungumzia maswali haya na ataweza kuyajibu na ataweza kuyangazia hata na zaidi katika kipindi hicho. Kwa hivyo la kufanya wewe mama pale nyumbani huyu bana tuma maswali usikose kujumuika naye Andy siku ya Jumamosi mwendo wa saa unusu usiku hapa hapa katika MBCI katika kipindi hiki cha Golden Minute cha kula kumalizia tunapomalizia kipindi tunapomalizia kipindi mm. tuko na ile namba mm -hmm. tunatumia tuko na WhatsApp wall mm -hmm. Golden Minute mm -hmm. na tuko na Facebook mm -hmm. Golden Minute mm -hmm. tena tuko na namba mm. 0740 mm -hmm. 366 9990704 na mnapatikana kwa facebook umesema golden, golden minute. minute one word or two words golden minute no two words two words two, uh -huh. two, two words 
then if you can if you really want to talk to us you can give us a call mm. yeah 0740 uh -huh. 366 399 it's a simple 366 399 your number 0740 366 399 uteweza kuzungumza naye muguzi zaidi Muguzi, thank you so very much. And B, kwa kufika studioni, najua wengi wa melimika, na najua talimika zaidi na hata siku ya jumamosi katika kipindi chocha Golden Minute. Thank you so much. Eh, musipitwe. Eh, ukipitwa jumamosi, Tuesday, repeat, sa kuminambili unusu jioni. Shukra tena sana. Thank you. Nimelimika tena sana. Haya, tutakwa tunapata burudani katika wakati huu usijali. Nambari 0740-366-999. Eh, tutaiweka hapo hivo somewhere. So you get it. Alafu na katika Facebook pia, amesema Golden Minute, two words. Muneza kuwapata pale.